Hello, good evening. I do apologize. Hello, Yolanda, how are you? Fine, teacher. I'm sorry, I, wa I, was in the, <laughs> I went to a different shot. I just have a call from, uh, to, you know, from the company and said, hey, you're in a different chat. Your student cannot enter. I do apologize for any inconvenience, okay? It's not going to happen again. Monday, teacher. Hello, it's Monday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the first day of the week. I do apologize. Okay. And uh, tell me, how was your weekend, Yolanda? It was so good. I worked uh, on, Saturday, on Saturday and... Okay. Then I take a rest in, at home. Oh, okay. Uh, that's all. That's all. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes. Okay, at least you, you have, you rest well, right? Yes, because today it was very hard day. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, Mondays is always like that, always. Yes, you know, you have uh, uh, accumulated work from Friday and you have to do Monday's work plus Friday's work. So I, it, it is understandable. But tomorrow is going to be better, okay? I promise you. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mauricio Morales, how are Hello. you today? Hello, how are you today, sir? Uh, it was good. All right. It was, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. And what yeah. about your... It was uh, good because... Uh, if you have a, a lot of things to do and and well have a job and a ha and, and a lot of things to do, you have the your mind very busy and uh, you are active and so yes it's yes it's, it's, it, you are good no okay so as long as you keep your <laughs> mind occupied in something time flies right time fly yeah very good. time really fly very good uh -huh. excellent excellent good job okay well um hello monica how are you i'm fine thank you excellent you just got home what you just got home no today i have incapacidad no sé cómo se oh dice. okay uh it, that is a uh, sick day Day, yeah. Day, yeah. I, Friday, I went to emergency to the dentist. Oh my goodness! They pull out a, a teeth, a tooth. Yeah, two, two tooth. Oh my! Oh wow! My God. That's that's it. That hurts. It it hurts. Yeah. Just, just to talk about that hurts. Okay, I'm sorry. No, was was so painful. You know. Don't have idea how I cry in that moment because without anesthesia, because I be with my baby and I give uh -huh. lactancia. Uh-huh. You cannot, they cannot yeah. put you, uh, uh, okay, anesthesia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my That's God. Me. I'm sorry to hear And yeah. how old is, how old is your baby? She have one year and four months old. So she is... A year old. Year okay. old, yeah. She is one year old. Okay, very good, excellent. You know, they yeah. they grow up uh, so fast. Believe me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In a blink of a night, he's she is gonna be fifteen, right, Yolanda? <laughs> yeah. In a blink of an eye, yes. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Hello, Cesar Oviedo. How are you? Yeah. Can can you turn your mic on, please? It's still still I don't. Okay, maybe there is something wrong, huh? And uh, Mr. Rodriguez, Dagoberto, how are you today, sir? Uh, hello. Hello, sir. Uh, hi, I, I, I fine. Thanks. Uh, okay. You, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. I'm, I'm kind of uh, uh, I'm surprised that I was in somebody else's, uh, you know, room. <laughs> they kicked me out. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, that's the reason I, I wasn't able to log in on time. But it's not going to happen again. I promise you. Okay. The classmates said that the traffic 
Oh, eh, ok. Eh, you don't come or you come late for the traffic. Oh, ok. He, no, it wasn't that case. Yes, I'm, I'm home. No, no, I was in somebody else's channel. That's, but it's not going to happen. The traffic in, uh, it's very difficult uh, is... go to, to the bedroom to the <laughs> living room. Yeah, you're right. Yes. I agree with you. Yes, it was too jam between the bedroom and the living room. Yes, you're right. Yeah, that's the reason I'm late. <laughs> okay. All right. And Vanessa de Los Angeles, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. It's nice to hear that. And what did you do during the weekend? Um... Nothing special, only Nothing. sleep. <laughs> okay, only sleep. Very good. Well, at least you you rest. That's the best thing. That's the only thing that you can enjoy resting. Okay, very good. And uh, yes. all right, thank you, Florence Magaña. How are you today? Why are you so serious? Hi, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, and. Uh, and how um, was it? Very well. Okay, very good. Very good. And how was uh, work? Um, very hard. <laughs> I feel so tired. <laughs> tired. Oh, okay. So. Yes, but it's normal for me. Every day it's hard. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, the, like at the, I was talking to one of your uh, co classmates. And I said that uh, whenever you're busy, time flies, you know, it's time, time to go home and wow, I haven't done everything. I haven't finished my work. Sometimes you have to say, and if, if it's too slow, then it, it's too bored. You know? you, you, you're just looking at the watch and say, oh my God, clock doesn't move <laughs> at all. So it's better to yes, be busy. That's... Yes. It's, it's better to be busy. Very good. Excellent. And uh, Chrissy Munoz, how are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> You're doing fine, huh? Excellent. Well, I'm glad to, yes. to see you. We, we're ready to, to, to rock, right? We are ready to rock, right? No, you can hear me, huh? Yes, we are ready for this class. Yes, yes, yes. And Claudia Maria, how are you today? I like your background. It looks nice. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. And what did you do during the weekend? Mm, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, order my house and only that. Oh right. I'm cooked. <laughs> okay, well, well, and and what do you like to cook? Um, what chicken, is? Oh my goodness! Pasta. I chick. I love uh, pasta. I love pasta. Only thing, uh, easy. <laughs> okay, Very easy. Easy thing. I yeah. don't like cooking. <laughs> yeah, it's better to do easy things, you know, than than do too too difficult things. Yeah. So you take it yes. easy. Very good. Excellent. And Oscar, Alexander, how, how are you today? You look better. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, good evening to all. Nice. Um, I'm okay. Thank you. A little a little busy at my work now. Oh, my class. Welcome to the real world, huh? Yeah, but do you yes. look better. You look better. Yes, you look very energetic. Thank you. Yeah, you look very, you know, uh, uh, happy. I can see in your face that you're not suffering anymore. So good for you. I, I like my work. Yes, thank very you. Good. Very good. Very good. I'm better now. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Well, thank God, huh? That everybody's okay. And uh, Florence, how are thank you today? You. You're welcome, sir. 
I'm very well, teacher. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. That's that's good. That's good enough. Very well, teacher. That's it. That's all we need to hear. Okay. Well, today um, we, besides uh, working on the platform, we are going to see some modal verbs. But before we start uh, working on the modal verbs, I'm going to be asking you a few questions. Uh, what are modal verbs for you? And what do we use them for? Yolanda, if you can uh, help me with this, please. I have a problem with my dogs, teacher. Oh, um, okay. Me oh, okay, too. okay, okay, okay. Not a problem, not a problem. Thank you. Uh, okay, so Claudia Maria Aviles, tell me, what is a moral verb for you? And what do we use it for? Me teacher. Yes, Claudia Maria Aviles. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, for me, an adverb. A moral verb. A moral verb. Ah, a moral verb. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay. So one of your uh, classmates, uh, Chrissy Munoz. Maybe, uh, I'm not expecting you to know what a moral verb is because I'm going to give an explanation about uh, what a moral verb is. But I want to build on what you already know. What a uh, uh, moral. I have the is. answer. <laughs> okay, thank you. You always have the answer, uh, Yolanda. Very good, thank you. Uh, recommendations. Okay. This kind of verb you can use to request. Uh, the verb are can, could, and may. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Yes. Those, those are the, the moral verbs that we're going to be using. But uh, a moral verb is, is a word. It's a word that modifies another, another word. Hmm. Recommendations. Okay, yes. A moral verb is a word that modifies another word. So that is a moral verb that it adds to the word or gives more information, yeah? It, it adds, uh, adds uh, information, information, or clarifies that word. Hmm? That would be a moral verb, yeah? In this case, uh, uh, we're gonna see a type of moral verbs. We're gonna, we're gonna be talking about uh, can, he may and could have yes no. could yes could yes could yeah what else hmm? oh. try yes suggest suggest mm -hmm. suggest should should yes oh, no, no, no. And others, right? Others. And others. Like, uh, those must. are the must. We can use uh, must. Uh -huh. Must and others. Have. Yes, have. I have. Have. Yeah. Right here. So, and, and we have a lot of moral verbs, but every moral verb su uh, suggests a uh, uh, adds information to the main verb. So that's, uh, we're gonna be looking those verb in, from that uh, perspective. So for example, we can say that it, uh, it's, it, it is uh, raining, it is raining, raining in uh, here, in Santa Ana. Ana. It's raining here in Santa Ana, teacher. But uh, but it may may be sunny. It may be sunny there in San Salvador. 
Okay, in this case, we are using the modal verb may. Yes, may. We are using this modal verb may. It is raining here in Santana, but it may be sunny there in San Salvador. So what is the modal verb telling us? Oscar, what uh, may modal verb is telling me? Uh, in, in Spanish? In Spanish or English, yes, it doesn't matter, yes. Uh, uh, que, que puede estar, oh, o, po, o po, podría, o puede estar soleado en San Salvador, pero puede estar. Está lloviendo aquí en Santa Ana, pero puede estar soleado en San Salvador. ¿Pero qué? ¿Qué me está diciendo? Que hay pro es probable. Possibility. Possibility. Yes, it's a possibility. Yes. The word may is telling me a possibility. Yes. But it is, yeah. I can write this one over, but it is possible. It is possible, possible that, but it is possible that it is sunny, sunny. Yes, it's telling me this. It is raining here in Santa Ana, teacher. Teacher, we're gonna put teacher, teacher, yes. It is raining here in Santa Ana, teacher, but it is possible that it is sunny there in San Salvador. Yeah? Basically, that is what the May moral word is telling me. Yeah? So instead of writing this one like uh, it is possible, we said, but May, but May, we say, but May be. But May be. See all this for that, but maybe it's sunny there in San Salvador. It's shorter, right? And it's saying the same thing. So we use the modal verb to modify it. And we're telling that it is a possibility. It is raining here in Santa Ana, teacher, but maybe it's sunny there in San Salvador. And be careful with the word maybe. Be careful with this uh, with this uh, with this word may be. How many words do you see over here? May be. Maybe. How many words? Two words. Two words. Two words. Yes. yes, two words. May and be. So these are two words. Two words, yes? And it's a moral verb, moral verb. But uh, you're gonna see this one, maybe, maybe, yes, maybe. It's an adverb, adverb, okay? So be careful. May be two words, it may be is one adverb, yes? Maybe I will, maybe I will do it. Yes, maybe I will do it. It's an adverb. Maybe I will do it. It's an adverb that modifies a verb. And modal verb, yes, it modifies, it's a word that modifies or it adds information to the verb. Okay, so be careful. Don't get confused be between maybe and maybe. May be two words and may be one word, which is an adverb. Okay, are we clear on that? Teacher. Yes, ma'am. In this case, with the maybe there are model verb and maybe there are adverb, mm -hmm. how we can know the, the difference between in a sentence and, we, and when we are talking with someone and say, say this. Remember that an adverb modifies a verb, and a modal verb uh, adds information to the verb. In this case, may is adding information to be. Posiblemente, 
este. Yes. And this maybe is an adverb. Maybe. Are you coming to work tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Puede que. Yeah. Probablemente. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Entonces, y se escribe one word, yes. Y esto se escribe two words. So you already know that uh, when it's the two words, it's adding information to the verb. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um, in este caso, he, we're going to see the can. He can be, um, he can be very difficult, difficult to deal with when he's in his in a bad mood okay okay we're saying that he can be very difficult to deal with when he's in a bad mood ¿Qué estamos diciendo aquí, Oscar? Mm -hmm. No sé, no sé si capto la idea, pero como que, eh, que es muy, es, él puede ser muy difícil de, de, de tratar eh, cuando está de mal humor, algo así. Sí, ajá, ya. Yeah. Entonces, sí, ¿dónde, ¿verdad? Es, ¿sí? ¿dónde está el moral verb, uh, Cristian Muñoz? Eh, ¿Quién? Eh, oh. ¿Quién? Can, can yeah. be. Entonces, está modificando que, okay, what is a, a can modifying to? Uh, está modificando el verbo be. be. Be, yes, modifying the verb be. Porque nosotros podemos decir esto, podemos ponerle aquí, vea, y cómo cambia la oración. Just a second. Yes, we can write this one. He is very difficult to deal with when he is in a bad mood. Esto es, no es posibilidad. Yeah, it's not a possibility. Yeah, el, el verbo is, es un auxiliary verb en este caso. No es un moral verb. An auxiliary verb está auxiliando el verbo to be. Yeah, he, is, he is very difficult to deal with when he is in a bad mood. Yeah. Ahora viene y lo ponemos un, un verbo principal. He is, que él es. Está hablando, ¿es una posibilidad? ¿Es una posibilidad? No. Es una no. certainty. Es una certainty, ¿yes? Yeah? Entonces, para eso usamos el moral verb. ¿Yes? Yeah? He can be very difficult to deal with when he is in a bad mood. Cristian Muñoz, podemos ver esto, que es el uso del can. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I couldn't see. You, you could see. Because oh. I, I don't have my, my glass. Oh, your glass is on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Y Luis Alonso, estamos bien aquí. Y can be, uh, podemos ver el moral verb allí. El, y la aplicación del moral verb. ¿Para qué lo usamos? Yes, teacher. Okay. I very understand. Good. Very good. And Cesar Oviedo, are we okay? Okay. Mauricio Morales, are we okay in this one? Rosario El Carmen? Yeah. Okay. If you have any questions, just uh, raise your hand, okay? Don't hesitate. No, no, no vayan a, a quedarse calladitas o callados si, si algo no está muy claro. Please raise your hand. Teacher, teacher, hold on, hold on. You're going too fast. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, en la, el can y el may se usa como possibilities. ¿ya? Yeah? Como possibilities de algo que pueda pasar o no pueda pasar. Uh, uh, por ejemplo, I, I may win the lottery. I may win the lottery. Teacher. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, the mother bear is uh, modify another verb or another word 
modal verb is it's adding information to the verb. Yes. Entonces, to the verb. Uh -huh. yes, en, el, en este caso, el may está adien, uh, adding information to win. I may win. ¿sí? In other words, yo puedo poner I, I uh, possibly, I possibly win the lottery. Posiblemente gane la lotería, ¿verdad? Pues entonces el may es lo que está haciendo, adding information to and, or modifying or clarifying. Yes, I may win the lottery. Es una posibilidad, no es que me la, la gane, ¿verdad? Pero si yo digo, I will win, ya cambia el panorama. ¿Ok? Cuando digo, can I have, can I have, um, can I have uh, your, can I have uh, your, um, your car? Can I have your card for this uh, weekend? Please. Okay, can I have your card for this weekend? Es, es, le estoy diciendo, dame el carro para este fin de semana, o qué le estoy diciendo? Que, que si puede haber alguna, ¿qué? Posibilidad de tener el carro. Yes, uh -huh. can I have, será posible, estoy diciendo, será posible que me puedes dar el carro el fin de semana? Yes, ma'am. In this case, can you choose uh, for a request? Es, es, está modificando, moral verb, está modificando. Será posible, estamos diciendo, será posible que me puedes prestar el carro este fin de semana. Será posible, yeah. Can I have your card for this weekend? Can I have? Yeah. Entonces, It's a el, question. Yes. Entonces, el can, nosotros hemos, estamos acostumbrados a oír, oh, entonces, puedo, ¿verdad? Puedo. Pero el, ese puedo es una possibility. Lo estamos usando como possibility. ¿Será posible que puedo, um, que me puede prestar el carro este fin de semana? Can I? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y le ponemos el question mark. Can I have your car for this weekend, please? Yeah? Entonces, possibility. Uh, it, is, it is possible for me to have your car this weekend? Sería de otra forma. It is possible for me no. to have <laughs> your car. Uh, And it is possible to use could I have your car? No. Sí, uh -huh. for the weekend. Okay. It is possible for me to have your car for the weekend? The weekend. Yeah. Basic, basically, eso es lo que estoy diciendo ahí. Can I have your car for this weekend, please? Eso es lo que estoy diciendo. En español, nosotros escribimos, it is possible for me to have your car for this weekend. Eso básicamente estamos diciendo en esa otra oración. Teacher, yes, and is it possible to use could I have? No. No, no, no. 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 Yes. It is possible. Eso es, eh, es, 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 esto, esto, el can, el can es como possible, como posibilidad, possibility. Eso es el can. Bien. Si usted lo traduce y dice, ¿puedo tener tu carro por uh, este fin de semana, por favor? Si usted lo traduce, pero si usted lo interpreta, dice, es, eh, ¿sería posible que me prestaras el carro este fin de semana, por favor? Entonces, es posibilidad, possibility. Lo estamos viendo de un punto de vista como possibility. Yeah. Posibilidad de que algo pueda pasar. ¿Sí? Ahora, aquí que es. Could I have something 
to drink. Could I have something to drink, please? ¿Cómo sería ahí? ¿Cómo lo traduciéramos ahí? Milagro, mira. Mauricio Morales, ¿cómo sería ahí? ¿Cómo lo traduciera? Could I have something to drink, please? Sorry, sorry. Uh, could I have something to drink, please? Um, could I have food? So do I? No. ¿Cómo lo traducía? Es una posibilidad para... Es como una posibilidad de, de tomar algo. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué? ¿Cómo podría tomar una bebida? Podría tomar... Algo de beber, algo así. Ok, sería posible. El otro no es. Uh, eh, eh, es, could I have something to drink, please? Yeah, como una posibilidad. Sería posible. Sería posible si me diera algo de tomar, por favor. Uh -huh. yeah. Sería posible que me diera algo de tomar, por favor. Yeah. Instead otro, of school. May I have may I have something to drink? It's the other word. It's a uh, no. It's a could I have something to drink? And the yes. other uh, side or the other way is may I have something to drink? Is the same? Is the same? Things, no. Yes, it's possibility. One is more polite than the other one. May is more polite than the other one. May I? May I have something? To drink, yes. May is, is more polite. Yeah. May I have something to drink, please? This is more polite, yes. Pero se puede hacer, ¿por qué? Porque quieren decir posibilidad. Todos ellos quieren decir posibilidad, yeah? Entonces, eso es may, es posibilidad. Siempre véalo como una posibilidad, yeah? El may, el moral verb, se refiere a una possibility, de algo que puede pasar. It, uh, puede decir usted, it may rain today. Yeah? It may rain today. ¿Qué es lo que está diciendo? Posiblemente llueva hoy. ¿Sí? No está diciendo va a llover ahora. ¿Ya? No está diciendo eso. Está diciendo posiblemente llueva hoy. Yeah. Posiblemente yo, ¿cómo diría podría llover ahora? Could it rain? It rain today. Could it rain today? Could it rain today? Yeah. Puede, podría llover hoy. Puede llover hoy? It may rain today. Could it rain today? Okay. Ahora en, en suggestion. Suggestion. Usamos la palabra suggest. Para sugerir. Suggest es para sugerir. Esto ya no es posibilidad, sino que sugerir algo. Y es como un te sugiero que si puedes uh, eh, traerme algo, yes. O qué me sugieres a mí en el caso de que tenga dolor de muela, yes. What do you recommend? Está diciendo en otras palabras, yes. What do you, uh, what do you suggest? What do you say for, for a drink? Drink in a cold weather like this. Yes. Entonces, esa es recommendation. What do you suggest for a drink in a cold weather like this? Yeah, ¿qué sugiere? 
de bebida en, en un eh, tiempo frío como este. You can drink a... Yes, you can sure. drink, yes, a chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah. Entonces usted dice, try, try. You said try, try. A suggest, para cuando usted dice suggest, usted dice try. Try es prueba, prueba, try. Lo que dijo su compañero, Sam. Some of uh, this hot chocolate. Mm. Chocolate. 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 En el caso de esta, eh, you don't say chocolate. You say chocolate. Chocolate. Like this, chocolate. Mm. Choc chocolate. You say it like this. Así se dice. No lo escribo así. No es que así se escriba, sino que se dice así. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. No es decir, el teacher lo estaba escribiendo. <laughs> no. Es, así se dice. Pero usted lo escribe. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate. Try some, some of this. Hot chocolate. Hmm. O también puede decir, I suggest, I suggest, suggest you some iced tea. Some iced tea. Hmm. Y la Reconocida, the one that you already know, you should, you should, you should get some hot milk. Hot milk. Entonces tenemos try, suggest, and should. What do you suggest for a drink in a cold weather like this? Oh, try some of this hot chocolate. Oh, I suggest you some iced tea. Oh, you should get some hot milk. Okay. Alguna pregunta de estos moral verbs? I uh, can, may, have, could, try. Okay. The other thing that we're going to be talking about is the word so, to, neither, and either. The difference between uh, so, to, neither, and either. Neither. Está mal? Neither. Neither. Neither, either. ¿Para qué lo usamos el so? So tiene diferentes usos. ¿Para qué lo usa usted, Ana Gabriela Rodríguez? ¿No? ¿No, Emil Yesenia Ramírez? I don't remember. Oh, no. Ok. Eh, Milagro, mira. No. I don't know, teacher. Okay. También. También. Ya. Yeah. Vamos a usar como también. Okay. Como el tú. El tú. El tú. 
el to y el neither. ¿Cómo lo usamos el neither también? Tampoco. Tampoco. El neither, tampoco, tampoco, sí, tampoco, tampoco. ¿Y el either? The same teacher. Tampoco. Tampoco. Pero en este, en otro, en otro, en otro, de otro punto de vista, from a different point of view, right? From a different point of view. Um, por ejemplo, dice Oscar, I like, I like, I'm sorry, I like, I like pupusas. I like pupusas a lot. I like pupusas a lot. Eso es. Me encantan o me gustan las pupusas bastante, ¿verdad? I like pupusas a lot. Dice Oscar. ¿Y Karina qué dice? I like to. Ok. So, dice Karina, so, do so I. Do I. So, do I. ¿Qué quiere decir ahí? A mí también. Yo también. Ahí no está la mí. Yo también. El I es yo, ¿verdad? Mm. Yo, yo, yo también. también. Yo también. Mm. Yes. Dice, I like pupusas a lot. Eh, yo también, dice. Bien. Yeah. Y lo puede decir de otra forma también. ¿Cómo es? ¿Ah? I do too. El to siempre lo ponemos al final de la oración porque es un adverbio, ¿ok? El to siempre, acuérdense, va al final de las oraciones porque es un adverbio. Nunca la voy a poner en medio. Uh, sometimes it's a, yeah, al final, siempre. So, entonces dice, so do I. I do too, yeah. Por ejemplo, dice, I like pupusas a lot. Le digo a Noemí y me dice, I do too. Yeah, yo también, me dice, yo también. ¿Mm? Y luego viene y dice Mauricio Morales. Really? Mauricio Morales viene y dice, really? Really? De verdad? Dice, I don't like them. I don't like them too much. Too much. Neither they, I do. Yeah, because <laughs> they are too greasy. Man, too greasy. Too greasy. They're too greasy. Yeah. Entonces, tenemos ahí. Dice, I like pupusas a lot, dice Oscar. Y luego dice, no, a mí, so do I. I do too, dice Ana, Ana Gabriela. Pero Mauricio Morales dice, really? I don't like them too much because they are too greasy. Yeah? Entonces, I don't like them too much. Ese es un, uh, el negativo a lo demás. ¿verdad? Really? Es cuando es really. De, de, de verdad? De verdad? ¿Le gusta mucho? No me gusta mucho. ¿no? Yeah. Y luego viene y dice eh, Yolanda. Dice, I'm crazy. I am. Dice, crazy. Crazy. Crazy about hot chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Cake. Yeah. I'm crazy about the hot chocolate cake. Y dice, Claudia Maria. ¿Qué dice Claudia María? Sorry. ¿Qué dice usted? ¿Qué contesta cuando Yolanda le dice I'm crazy about a hot chocolate a cake? Mm, I do too. Ok, ahora vea cuál es la diferencia de aquí. Vea cuál es la diferencia entre esta y esta. Fíjese cuál es so la diferencia. Am I. 
There we go. Yes, vea la diferencia de esta y esta. Esta no tiene el verbo to be ahí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces la respuesta es so do I. No tiene el verbo to be, pero esta sí tiene el verbo to be. There is a verb to be. So lo tenemos que, que decir. Entonces decimos so am I. I. Yeah, there we go. So, so am I. I. So am I. Yeah. So am I. ¿Sí? Yo también estoy. Eso quiere decir yo también estoy, ¿verdad? Y um, luego, I am too. Yes. Y luego viene eh, eh, Cristian Muñoz y dice, I am too. I am too. Yes. Ok. Eso quiere decir yo estoy también. Yes. Yo estoy también. Y una es yo también estoy y la otra yo también. Yo estoy también. I am too. Y hey, viene y dice Luis Alonso, así bien enojado. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Y así con una cara así bien enojado, dice, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Neither I am. No. Neither I am. No. So not. No, neither am I. Yeah. Or neither, I am not either. Neither am I. Mm -hmm. Luego dice, Luis Alonso dice, le gusta mucho la Mexican food, ¿verdad? Y dice, I can eat, I can eat uh, uh, really spicy food. I can eat really spicy food. Dice, sí, bien, bien emocionado, ¿verdad? Y viene Oscar y dice, ¿cómo le dijera Oscar? Esta es la misma que la primera. Oscar, ¿cómo le respondiera? I can read really spicy food, dice Luis Alonso. ¿Y usted cómo le responde, Oscar? So can I. So can I, gracias. So can I. So can I. Ya vio, se estuvo mucho, Oscar, le ganaron. <ríe> Sí, me ganaron. Sí. Or I can do, teacher. Yeah, there we go. I can do. I can do. ¿Qué es lo que estaba viendo yo? Que ustedes vieran que el verbo aquí cambió. Can, sí. Possibility y aquí like. Yeah. Y solo cambia el verbo, sí. So do I. I do too. So can I. So can I. I can too. Yes. Yes. Y el otro dice, really, really, dice Noemi, I can't, I can't. Entonces, ahí pusimos el... Ahora vamos a ver, vamos a practicar los, el neither o el either. Entonces, I... I, Karina Marisol dice, I don't, o yo de la spicy food dice, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like greasy, <coughs> greasy food. I don't like greasy food. ¿Y Yolanda qué dice? Neither. There we go. Yes. Do I. Neither, neither do I or yes. I don't either. No, neither. Uh -huh, yes. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. Yes. Neither. neither do I. Yes. Neither do I. do I. Pero así, neither do I. Así como una respuesta, yo tampoco. Neither do I o I or don't. Don't either. Mm -hmm. I don't either. Either. Yes. But it's not true, teacher. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. Huh? You, you love spicy food. I do love too spicy food. Okay, so, entonces, si se fijan aquí, I don't like greasy food. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia, Vanessa? Okay, porque es que en esta dijimos, neither do I, y en esta, so can I. ¿Dónde ve usted la diferencia? Porque esa es la pregunta, ¿verdad, teacher? ¿Y cuándo uso el neither? ¿Y cuando es el so? 
Mm, I think it's the negative. It's about yes. the verb. No, it's it's negative. The, no, no, no. Sorry. Ah, okay. Yes. It's it's negative. Negative. Because it's negative. Yes. It's yes. A... Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. When it's negative, va a usar usted eso. Yeah. Por eso es que lo estoy diciendo. Porque... Neither or either. Neither the or both... either. Yeah, both quiere decir tampoco. Tampoco. Pero en el caso que va a decir, ah, okay. pues se pone neither do I o I don't either. Mm -hmm. Que no puede decir I don't neither. Que sería gramaticalmente incorrecto. Entonces dice, I don't like greasy okay. food. Neither do I. I don't either. Para decir yo tampoco. ¿Vale? Ok. Vamos Thank a, you, teacher. Well, vamos a hacer otro, otro ejemplo, ok. Eh, I'm, uh, I'm not, dice, dice Luis Alonso, I'm not uh, in the mood for, for Salvadorian o oh, Italian food, le vamos a poner Italian. Italian food. I'm not in the mood for Italian food. Ya se dieron cuenta que está negativo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo va a ser la respuesta? Si está en negativo, no en mí, ¿cómo va a ser la respuesta? I am not in the mood for Italian food. ¿Cómo va a ser la respuesta? I am not in the mood for Italian food. Yeah. Dice, hey, no, no, no. No me siento como que quiero comer y eh, comida italiana. Yeah. ¿Cómo va a decir usted? Acuérdense que está negativa. Usted tiene que contestar negativa. Maybe neither I am. Yes, neither am I. Am I? Yes, neither. Neither. Am I. Yes, neither am I. Y para decir either, ¿cómo decir? I am not either. There we go. I'm yes. I not, not either. 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 Yes, I'm, I'm not, not either. either. ¿Sí? I'm not either. ¿Lo estamos bien eso? ¿Estamos bien, viendo bien eso? Y alguien dice, really? Really? Uh -huh. Is it really? I, I am. am. I am, yes. I, I am. am. Really? I am. I am not. In the mood for Italian food. Really? I am. And uno dice, no, no, como que no, no, no estoy, eh, del, como que quiero comida italiana. Y el último dice, yo sí, yo sí quiero. El otro, el otro dice, tampoco yo, tampoco yo. Yo tampoco. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Right. Hagamos otro, otro ejemplo, ¿ok? Uh, I, al que no le gusta la greasy food, dice, I can't, I can't stand, can't stand greasy food. Greasy food. Yeah. I can't stand greasy food. Y Oscar, ¿qué dice? Neither can I. Very good. Neither. Neither. Neither can I. Yeah, very good. Entonces ya lo, ya lo entendió. ¿Y el otro sería? Karina? I cannot. I cannot either. Very good. I can't. I can not either. Or... I can't either, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Se puede poner contractado o sin contracción. No hay problema. El significado siempre es el mismo. It's the, it's the same meaning. Neither can I or I cannot either or I can't either. Yeah. Ok. Oh, dice el otro. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Siempre hay alguien, ¿verdad? Que va contra, eh, contra todos. Okay. Oh. oh, I love it. Mm. Yeah. 
la grease, la grasa, ¿verdad? ¿A quién le gusta lo, la gordura? ¿A quién le gusta la gordura? Es lo más rico, ¿verdad? Cuando el pollo bien gordo, lo más rico. Carne gorda, lo más rico. Entonces, por eso, I love it. Ok, very good. Excelente. Eh, yo creo que ya, ya este, cuando se dice neither o either, ya quedó claro. Ya, ya no hay confusión en eso, ¿verdad? Cuando contestamos so my, so I can, so can I, I can too. Y lo demás. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. Sí, caballero. Sí, I have a question. I okay. have a question. Yes, please. Um, for the affirmative sentences, mm -hmm. for example, I like, I want to choose a sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not correct. Say, uh, me too. Yes, yes. I like to put a lot. Me too, yeah. Me too. Don't put a key, me too. Yes. Me too. Yeah. It's acceptable. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say it too. All right. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Okay. Let's um. Let's look at the platform, the uh, exercises from the platform, and see how we can, um, if there is anything that I can uh, help you with. So let's see. One second. Um, where is it? Okay, let's see if we can... Um, I can help you with this. In this case, we have a 211 knowledge check and we're gonna do it at three, two. In this case, it says complete this conversation with the modal verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Um, over here it says, uh, it says uh, I help you. It will say, can I help you? May I help you? Should I help you? Have help you, try help you, suggest help you, or which one do you use? May I help you? Can. May I help you or can, right? Both of them, either one. On V, what yeah. would you use, uh, Monica Munguia? Can. Can I have? Okay. Yes. Can I have something? Sure. Can I have something to, uh, for Ichi Ice? Yes. Sure. Karina? Sure. Sure. Teacher yes. number. It's right here, right here. This one right here. It's A. Number one. A. Sure, I suggest a bottle of I don't. Sure. I suggest. Yes. I suggest. Okay. I suggest. Okay. Okay. Uh, Vanessa, number two. What do you? What do you? Uh... <laughs> May. May. Yeah. What? what do you? What do you have? What do you have? Okay. Oh. Okay. B. Noemi. You should try this ointment. You should. Okay. You should try this ointment. Okay. Oscar, number three, eight. You, um, may I have a box of bandage? Please? May I have a box of bandage, please? Okay. Crisia Munoz, A. And what do you... Crisia? No? Okay. Marina Sanabria? No? 
Dagoberto Rodríguez. What do you suggest? What do you suggest? For... What do you What do you have? What do you have for insomnia? What do you have for insomnia? Okay. And um, mm, B? Mm -hmm. And B? Try. 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 Okay. okay, do we have everything correct? Or do you think we may change something? May I help you? Yes. Uh, can I have something for itchy eyes? Sure. I suggest a bottle of eye uh, drops. What do you have for some muscles? For sore muscles? You should try this ointment. It's excellent. Uh, may I have a box of bandage, please? And what do you have for your stomach? Is everything okay? Let's see. Ya vamos a terminar. Ya vamos a terminar. Ya vamos a terminar. Ya vamos a terminar. Ya le, ya le, van, a, ya le van a pegar, ¿verdad? ¿A quién, le va, ¿A quién le van a pegar ahí? Dígale que el tiche tiene la culpa. Este tiche. Okay, uh, let's finish with the, let's finish with the um, three, four, and then we call it the night. Okay, right responses to show agreement with this statement. Do not use periods on your answer. This has to do with I am not, neither I am, so can I, or the other one was uh, so am I, I am too. So it says, I'm not crazy about French food. Katie Oste. So do I? I do too. So am I. I am too. Oh, neither. Neither am I or I am not either. So do I. So am I. Neither am I. So am I. Am I. So much. Number two. But it's I, in negative, teacher. Yes, yes. It's in negative. Yes, I am not. Uh, I am I'm not, not crazy about French food. Yes, no. no. Yo no soy loca para la, la comida francesa. Yo también. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. No, no, no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? So am I? No, no. No. Porque, y acuérdense que dijimos que. Dijimos que cuando teníamos el not, que era negativo, ¿qué usábamos? Neither, 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 neither. Very good. Neither am um, I. Very good. Neither am I. Am I. Very good. Excelente. Neither am I. Ahora sí, I can eat any kind of food. ¿Ah? Aquí que... I can. Hicimos una de esas, ¿se acuerdan? I can too. ¿Ah? I can too. So can I. So can I. So can I. So can I. I can too también se puede usar. I think Mexican food is delicious. So do I. So do I. Very good. So do I. Yeah. I can't stand greasy food. Hmm? I can't stand neither. Yes, neither. Neither. Neither can I, ¿verdad? Neither. Sí, hicimos uno de esos, ¿se acuerdan? Neither can I. Hicimos una, una, un, una práctica de esas. I don't like sal, salty food. I don't like salty food. I, neither I, neither do I. Neither do I. Very good. Neither do I. Very good. 
I am in the mood for something spicy. So am I. Solo una está contestando, ¿verdad? So am I. Ella sí puso atención. ¿O qué pasa con los demás? I'm crazy about Korean food. I am too. No. <laughs> 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 so am I. <laughs> So am I. So am I. Oh, I am two too. So am I. Yes. Oh, I am two. Sí, los igual, ¿verdad? So am I. Oh, I am two. I am two. Yes. Se puede poner I am two. Probemos I am two, ¿verdad? Está correcto. I am two. Yes. Es lo mismo. ¿verdad? I'm crazy about Korean food. I am two or so am I. I don't enjoy fast food very much. Neither do I. Neither, yes. yes, neither. Ya, ya I. Soy, sí, neither do I. Oh, yes. Ya siento como que ya. I always eat healthy food. I do too. <laughs> I oh, do too. I. So do I. I do too. Oh, I do too. Yes. So do I. So do I. Okay, oiga, oiga como es, so do I, ponga teacher, so do I. <laughs> I can't, I can't eat food. Neither can I. Very good, neither. The time is over. Yes, neither can I, right? Can time I. is over, neither can I. Very good, terminamos, yes. Para, para irnos, time is over, teacher. Time is money. <laughs> Okay, very good. We got them all right. Yeah, good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for the passion. Okay. A for your participation. Have a good night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Thank six. you. Okay. Teacher. Bye bye. Bye. Teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye bye. bye.